Yeah, yeah, it's colder out here, that's for sure. The jacket was a good idea. Well, hello, friends. And it has been a minute. It has been longer than I intended, as per usual. Um, basically, if I, I say a, a vlog is coming in a certain amount of time, you should probably just expect double that, and uh, then you'll never be disappointed in me, which you should be because I'm such an asshole. Anyways, hey, guys, uh, it has been more than two months, I think, since the update, uh, since before I moved, so it might even be getting closer to three months now. It's been a while, but I have been keeping very, very busy. You can see my, uh, my new home around me. This is my cabin. It is two stories, one bedroom, one bath, little kitchen, little living room. Um, I'll show you kind of the office area inside here towards the end of the video. Downstairs, I'm still struggling to finish to get it furnished because funds are tight because fuck the crypto market right now. Ouch, ouch, my life savings, ouch. Um, it's fine, we'll be back. It always comes back. Um, but no, things are good, I'm good. I'm not even stressing about that stuff, really. It'll come back. And uh, yeah, I haven't got the, the downstairs furnished, but I have been here um, since December 4th and having a wonderful time. I've been writing and writing and writing and we are around the 200 page mark in the book. I just started chapter 39, so if you count the prologue, we are now 40 chapters in, and that feels fucking fabulous. I'm having such an amazing time writing, like, it's the exact same as it was in the last video, except that I'm even more certain, like, I absolutely love writing. I am, I am addicted. I write every single day for a minimum one hour, and when I have days off, oh man, like, last Sunday, I just wrote the entire day, the entire day. I think it was like a full eight hour day of writing. Um, and it's, it's so wonderful. And you know, I was, I was a little nervous when I started out. I was, I was a little like, you know, what if this is more like a hobby kind of thing and maybe I'm just blowing it out of proportion cause I'm excited. Well, I have an answer for that past me's question. And that is to say, um, when I moved in here, part of the reason for the video's delay, I guess, if I'm really stretching for excuses, was that we had a massive storm here, like right after I moved in. And it just hit this whole area of California, 14 inches of snow here. Like I maybe on average see like one inch of snow a year where I've been living for the past 20 years. So this was a monumental difference. I had to take the entire week off work. I was completely snowed in, had no power for two weeks. Internet was out on and off sporadically. Fortunately, it was on most of the time just with barely enough bandwidth to actually type in a Google document. So that actually worked out wonderfully, but it was a wild time. I got some footage of the snow. I'll probably show some little clips at the end of this. Whoa, just got our first real snow and you know, I'm, I'm ankle deep in it. And that's not a shallow ankle. That's I'm, I'm deep ankle deep in it. Uh, if you want to see how beautiful it was. But uh, yeah, anyways, I spent the entire week writing. Like, it was just like 11 straight days of just hardcore writing every day. And like, there were days where I was getting like five solid pages done, like entire chapters. And, you know, for me, that's a lot. If you don't have context as a writer, like, that's a lot. That is a lot. Getting chapters done it, well, a chapter done every day is a lot, and chapters vary in length from author to author, but oh my gosh. Yeah, and I just had a wonderful time. Like, I genuinely had a wonderful time. It was like, not only is this something that I could do, potentially, as a career, but it's something that I desperately want to do. It was the most enjoyable week of, you know, work I've ever done, because it's like, sure, I, I, I could have sat around and played video games. I could have gotten back into classic WoW. They just launched the new season of Mastery. So it's like blank slate, start over. And I wanted to, but no, instead I did it the entire time. I didn't have to force myself. I don't feel like I'm gonna burn out whatsoever. I'm just loving it. I look forward to writing every single day and we are getting so much good stuff done. The, the prologue is now done. So we now have backstory going back literally a thousand years that sets up the whole plot for the whole series. And I'm just feeling more and more confident that seven books is the right number. And I've actually got book eight planned. I know I sound like such a jackass planning so far ahead in the future, but it's like, there's a character that came up and he's like part of the narrative. Like he's a super important character in the narrative. 
but we're kind of coming into his story halfway and I'm like, oh, we've got to do a prequel about Charles, right? So that's the plan. I want to do a prequel about Charles and none of this makes any sense to anyone else in the world right now. These are just random names, but maybe in the future somebody will be watching this and they'll be like, I know who Charles is, like I read the books. But at this time, nobody knows who Charles is but me. And that's fucking wild. It is still completely under the hat. Uh, my best friend has read the first couple chapters, but other than that, nobody really knows anything. And I, I have been telling my dad and business partner about the story as I've been writing it and kind of sharing that with him because pretty sure he's uh, he's not going to sell me out. So <laughs> I also mentioned something in there, uh, the new season of Classic WoW, and I actually have a bit of a story about that that I thought would be relevant to today's videos because I, I like to put some sort of message in these about like something that I've learned as an author um, since I started this process. And yeah, I actually, I think I got Omicron for a couple days. I was dirty, nasty, filthy sick. Like I went from feeling fine uh, to feeling a little achy. And then like a few hours later, I was just curled up in a ball in the fetal position on a couch, just sweating and wanting to shit and vomit at the same time. And just like, what the fuck? And, uh, had a low fever for a couple days and then it just passed and I felt fine. Um, obviously took the precautions, sanitized the old hands, been wearing a mask post then, and, uh, you know, doing that kind of stuff. But you all, I'm sure you all assumed that already. But anyways, yeah, so the second day of being sick, I'm starting to feel quite a bit better. I'm really bouncing back. But, and I've already got some writing done. And I'm like, man, I heard about that season of mastery. And wow, and I kind of want to jump in and play some, even though video games are one of the sacrifices that I've been making to uh, appease the writing gods. So I got the game, re-downloaded it whole pain in the ass spent like hours setting up the mods and getting all back in but I'm fucking pumped like this is the first time I've been pumped on playing a video game in like a year and I'm like oh maybe that's not a good thing maybe I'm too pumped because you know flashbacks to what happened with classic wow which on this channel was nothing but a void for like a year and a half because I literally no life that game and you know was a main tank for a guild. I, then I ended up off tanking for a really high end guild, had an early Thunder Fury, like full tier one, two, three. Like I did the whole thing, just bank full of consumes. But anyways, some of you aren't gonna know what any of that means, but I like no life classic WoW for a year and a half. So I'm, I'm like, I, maybe I shouldn't be screwing with this, but I'm like, let's just dip my toe in just for a couple days. Let's see how it is. I'm probably just gonna get bored anyways, because you know, I haven't been able to get into a game for a while now. And um, so I did jump back in and oh my gosh, dude. Cl <laughs> Classic WoW in particular for me, but just MMOs in general are so fucking addictive. Like I never noticed it before because I never had this major time constraint that I felt. I mean, I probably should have felt that with YouTube related stuff, but I really felt it now. Maybe it's just because I'm older, but I couldn't stop thinking about the game and it was distracting me while I was writing. I would, you know, be sitting there, you know, and it's like, you know, it's a work day. It's a weekday. It's like, I'm just going to get in an hour today and then I'm going to go relax. But it's like, I couldn't focus on the writing. This little voice kept being like, has it been an hour yet? Has it been an hour yet? Hey, 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 let's go play classic. Let's go play. Cl and it's like, bro, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to write. And, uh, you know, that went on for a couple days and I'm like, this isn't good, but maybe it's just, you know, new hype in the game, maybe. And I noticed I'm making all these excuses for myself. I'm making all these excuses. And, you know, I told myself from the get go, like, hey, if this is becoming a problem, you have to stop. And I'm like, fuck. So on the fourth day that I would have been playing, I just straight up uninstalled the game. I'm like, nope, sorry, I can't. I can't. I can't. Writing is too important to me. This book is, I believe, going to change my life, and I can't get distracted by something so frivolous. Now, I have so many things that I want to share with you, and I wish I was more consistent about making these videos, but this thing might pass for a little nugget of, of wisdom that might come across as helpful to somebody who's trying to go down a similar path in their life. And uh, I was having a little bit of trouble just feeling kind of motivated and just getting the words on the page um, earlier this week. 
and it had happened like three days in a row. And granted, I was writing chapters that were like sad and gloomy and had this very dark tone. And it was the first time I'd really had to write in that heavy of a tone before. And it was kind of throwing me off my game. But more than that, I also noticed that I was feeling very sleepy. I had been buying more comfort food, like hitting up Taco Bell and stuff and eating like these really big meals before sitting down. And I kept putting myself down, you know, and I'd sit there for 30 minutes and I just couldn't quite get into the flow. And I'm going, fuck, oh no, like, I don't like this. This is throwing me off. I don't like it. And then I'd end up taking a nap and I'd get up and I'd get some writing done, but I just wasn't as, you know, energetic, as flowy as I want to be when I'm writing. And I'm like, shit, man, what is happening? And I'm like, well, it's probably the food, but overall the food, you know, is just adding to a general state of sleepiness, of sitting there comfortably in my chair, feeling tired, and then wanting to take a nap. And that just gets in the way of my writing. And I'm not opposed to taking naps, but it's like, if you only have three hours and you nap for two of them, it's like, you're probably not going to get in a great hour of writing. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, fuck this. So I grab my shitty little laptop <laughs> and uh, I go downstairs. I get away from, you know, the computer. I get away from the, the comfortable chair, definitely the bed. And I go and I sit in one of these awkward little wooden chairs downstairs, no armrests. And I turn the chair sideways so that there's no back. So it's essentially just a stool. And, uh, and I'm sitting there and like, you know, my, I'm getting like little knots in my back. And I'm like, man, fuck, like this is so uncomfortable. But it worked like within five minutes. I was, you know, type, type, typing away. And I ended up getting like, I think around two pages done in like an hour 15 which was, or maybe it was an hour 45. It was an hour 45, not an hour 15. But it was like really good paced writing, really fun chapter. I love the vibe of this chapter. I'm still working on the same little story. Um, uh, technically, I'm in a different chapter, but I'm still working on that same part of the story and just having a fucking blast writing in this style. Um, uh, three of the main characters are getting up to a little bit of espionage in a place called New Lomar and uh oh it's so fun to write I'm having such a blast writing these chapters I, I just want to stay in this vibe forever but I know vibes have to change from chapter to chapter but I'm just enjoying where I'm at right now but anyways yeah like getting uncomfortable getting away from that sleepy comfortable armchair and putting myself in a situation where I was literally in pain um actually got me flowing and it's like, if you're feeling a little bit stuck, maybe a little bit in a rut with your own writing or with your own whatever, um, maybe put yourself into a situation that's a little bit uncomfortable. It might just get your juices flowing because it worked for me. So that's all I got. But uh, I guess I'll show you guys the little office uh, bedroom area and uh, uh, maybe I'll tour you guys downstairs once I finished getting it furnished. But why don't you come on in here? Massive bedroom, considering what I am used to. Like, absolutely so much space. Like, we got a gym in the corner. Hi, gym stuff. We got, what do we got? There's my little deck that's also a stairway. We got a little ladder over here. Whoa. Whoa. We got a ladder up here. So, this is how you come upstairs when you're inside, or you can come upstairs outside through here and uh, we got frost morn right there you know hanging next to the coats like where he belongs um we got storage over here lots of closet space a little nerd shrine as mecco has called it in the past so we got shot glasses magic cards up top hella books comic books many little gifts from jessica and katsuya Books on the bottom. My book collection is pretty weak. It's because I like audiobooks. And my audiobook collection, however, is fucking popping. Maybe I'll show you guys someday. A little random video. Finally got a triple monitor setup. I've had three monitors for a while, but I had to uh, reconfigure things from my old setup to make this work. There, that's better. Now we've got pretty stuff to look at. Um, yeah, so I got my triple monitor set up. That's pretty sweet. Here is the bed, super comfy, super cozy, hella pillows, hella blankets. And as you can see, all the walls here are wooden, they're solid wood. So it's just gorgeous. I don't feel the need to like 
over decorate with posters and tapestries like I always have in the past because I just hate the look of drywall. It's so boring. But it's like here, I just kind of let it go au naturel. I think it's really beautiful. I like this thing I did up here recently. Here, let me beep, beep, beep. I had these, it's slightly off center, but it was actually harder than it looks. These are, uh, they're just like fall colored dec decorative sticks with like fall leaves on them. And I just put them in a pattern up there. But uh, I think it looks really good. It's just super cozy here. I love it. Um, adjusting to nighttime in the country was kind of terrifying. And I have stories about that, but I won't bore you with them right now because this video is probably past the 10 minute point already. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll take a look at downstairs next time. But anyways, that is my update. Look forward to William Witchbane and the Warlock's Curse coming to a store near you soon. No, it's probably not going to be for even a couple years. But regardless, it is coming. And it's coming with excitement. And know that every single day that goes by, every last one, no exceptions, I am working to bring it to you. And if you've already read The Warlock's Curse and you're watching this in the future from my time, know that the next book is on the way. Or the book after that is on the way. Or the book after that is on the way. They're going to keep coming. I'm going to keep slapping them out because I can't help myself. It's too fun. Anyways, I love you guys. A big old short beard heart. I love your faces. And uh, I will see you here next time with another vlog. Bye! Whoa. Just got our first real snow. And, you know, I'm, I'm ankle deep in it. And that's not a shallow ankle. That's I'm, I'm deep ankle deep in it. Here's the cabin. Woo! Oh my God, this is wild. Living in the middle of a town, eh, you know, 8,000 people. You, can, you could call it city living in Auburn uh, that never gets any snow. Uh, you can imagine this is a bit of a lifestyle change for me, but it's freaking cool. My power's off right now, so I'm going over to start the generator, which is over here. Oh my, walking is a task. Got my generator over in here. So I gotta hook this up, get together a cable to feed the cabin over there with the generator. So wish me luck in that. All right, bye.